Hi everybody, um, this video was going to be um, part two to my um, recently uploaded Twin Flame or Adam and Eve journey. And because this week is Valentine's Day, I thought it would be um, proper to do these videos this week. Um, first, I want to put out there that Valentine's Day is a 3D um, idea. It is the idea of humanity that has a specific idea and has placed that idea onto all about how love should be. There's tons of cards, candy, um, commercials, pressing um, date night, um, whatever, you know, that idea is being and has been implanted within our society for however long it has been. Um, and we have these expectations because of those implants, influences that we have um, focused so much upon. Um, so I'm asking you this week, well, and always, especially within your own journey, um, regardless if you are with your twin flame, Adam and Eve, um, or not, that you let go of all kinds of expectations of how things are supposed to be based upon other people's ideas and feel with your own heart. Um, this week it um, it's going to be a little tricky because not only is this year about your twin flame journey in itself um, because it's 2020 um, and when you reduce all of those down it becomes 1111 and that means it's also about a huge um, awakening process as a collective mean the entire world a lot of people will be waking up on a huge massive level and that also means if a lot of people individually are waking up the twin flame or Adam and Eve journey will also wake up and this also doesn't mean when you wake up you're waking up to what's true within it um, which means you are going to supposed to see what has been the illusion part of your union. If you have already been within your twin flame journey for a long time and it has just been up and down, up and down, or completely down, 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 down for years, and then it spikes back up and then spikes right back down. Um, you know, this is probably your twin flame journey. And then this year, you have a chance at rising and merging together. Uh, but so many people are so unfamiliar and, uh, and don't understand this concept of what takes place. It is a process of elimination, not just within yourself, but within your union. Um, and this month, is about healing, not just again yourself individually, but healing as a couple. And this healing process can be traumatic um, because one, you should know how difficult it is um, individually. But when you are already with your one and only, your twin flame, your Adam and Eve, it becomes a double whammy, if you will. That's where it gets so difficult. I don't think it's difficult if we were doing it on our own. It becomes more difficult because now we have another individual to think about. But isn't that what love is? Selflessness of another person? Um, so we are releasing and healing especially, you know, this upcoming, this month here. And um, 
when we heal those emotions come back up we become triggered um, and the want to fall back down to where we were that that trigger or emotion came from and this is something I have already experienced um, before the full moon um, a few days before the full moon the same day that I felt complete anger that anger dissipated um, midway through a day and and then something else took place where I went back to again which the anger also stemmed from this time frame of my immobility and chronic pain days but it also went back to the days of me really disliking my marriage and my husband um, I became very emotional like I am right now um, because of it I remembered all of the pain that I was feeling and all of the pain that I unknowingly was causing my husband and even if he didn't feel that pain or isn't aware or isn't um, facing that pain I know what I did I know in my heart the pain that I caused because I was really low and I got up that day from my chair and uh, my tears and I just hugged him and uh, my heart was telling him how sorry I was for everything that I did knowingly and unknowingly um, so um, as we run into this week that the full moon is the energies are still with us from the full moon the intensity is still there today and tomorrow um, a little bit into Wednesday so our emotions are still running high as you can tell I am still emotional from the pain that I was feeling a few days ago it's still with me um, because as I speak about it I am still feeling it um, So it's important to see what you are feeling and feel it. Um, it's important to understand and give yourself that compassion to go ahead and let it out. This is the time of releasing. When you have that thought process again of a past pain and you are thinking about it and it's making you angry or it's making you very, very sad. It's okay to feel anger and it's okay to be sad. But don't just, you know, no, I don't have time for this. I'm not going to think about this because it was so painful. Don't be that type of person. That is your ego that's trying to tell you not to deal with it because your, your mind, your conscious mind is remembering your pain. Your subconscious mind is remembering your pain and you need to be aware of that and allow yourself to be angry allow yourself to be sad cry it out if you have to you know hit some pillows hit the pillow you know but the best thing for you to do especially in your union is to express how you are feeling and express it in a very loving way don't attack the other person because of what you are feeling because of what you are remembering um, the way that we speak to people plays a huge impact on a cause and effects when we are more aware of how our words can either lift or pull down an individual we can love properly um, so take the time to be mindful of how you are feeling during this week 
as these energies are still trying to dissipate a little bit and bring in newer energies of, of your union. Um, be mindful of that and um, make love your focal point. You know, love is always mindful. Love is always courteous. It's always um, seeking to assist and to provide. And so if your words are not in a loving context, change them to reflect love. And how the other individual takes it, you know, is about their own pain. Keep that separation with knowledge that your counterpart, if the, your counterpart feels pain, keep in mind, you feel pain as well for that situation, and you can't expect anything other than that from your counterpart, because you both are one. What you feel, they feel. It might just be a different emotion. You might be sad. They could be very angry about it. But it's a misunderstanding about what is taking place within each other and the misunderstanding of the connection between the two of you. So the point is that the cosmic current is pushing to release all the blocks to openness and love between your divine mirrored souls. And that's what it is. And that's why we have such a, a misunderstanding again about who this person is. Because one, if we have, if what we see or what we feel is what we attract in our own personal life, that right there is a mirror effect. And when you finally find your twin flame or Adam and Eve, one and only union, again, it's your mirrored soul in an actual human being though, and who is now sitting here next to you in this, this world you know, making that, having this journey with you in this experience with you. It's two people. It's you, yourself, and whomever your counterpart is. You know, there's two people just moving along in this world who are meant to be together, having the same experience, but living in a different human form, which is, um, um, so kind of imagine your spirit um, has been split and placed in another human being um, because we all have a Adam and Eve the male and the female and if it's split and placed into another human being to have this existence it becomes a little more complicated because now your your soul is trying to find you to merge together yet have a separate experience still it's hard that that becomes a real struggle because humanity is taught to just have a life we're here to have this experience a human experience but the spirit within us wants that deeper connection and when we follow what the spirit wants over our selfish ego over our selfish existence that's when it becomes a little more easier that's where more understanding is and that's how love can allow you to see more clearly Um, and part of this complication within this twin flame journey, it stems from childhood occurrences or um, 
beliefs that were planted in into who we are about not being loved um, and whether it came from our parents or a personal experience on our own and that is what also comes into play here during our twin flame journey so like for myself and I don't have this issue with my husband any longer because of my process of healing but as my younger self as a child I had a very high anxiety about not being with my parents I had a high anxiety about uh, being left alone um, I guess I developed abandonment issues um, and there's a whole lot of things that came to play because of this um, it was about not having the proper authority figures in my life um, during a sexual abuse and and then watching my parents just struggle in their own marriage um, and not really having a a, a real good connection with my, my other siblings in the light in my lifetime um, even growing up especially though but um, it created that um, feeling of abandonment has affected every relationship that I have had in my life and more so with um, my union here with my husband and it was huge and I've had terrifying dreams about always being abandoned all the time and those have stopped because I no longer I know I no longer feel that um, um, I feel safe now and it's not that um, I don't need my husband <laughs> because I love him and I want him in my life but I don't have that um, I'm, I'm tied to a leash and chained to him kind of feeling now where I will feel completely lost without him. I am strengthened within my spirit. I know my spirit and I know what takes place when you are in alignment with your spirit self and with love. Um, because all of, when you are in alignment with it, and you know your heart and you know your spirit and your higher self you know things are going to work out for its greatest good um, if you have a lot of fear um, in your marriage um, and only you can decipher what that is um, again mine was the fear of being abandoned um, and a lot of other things too um, not being secure um, all of those emotions will come back up during this time or probably have been and you have miss you may have been misinterpreting it and not understanding what again is taking place but the deeper that you go and shift into love as you feel these emotions again journaling is so important um, you begin to see it within a different context love will always guide you and and that's why it's really important um, especially in your your journey here with your twin flame that you don't make drastic decisions based upon anger um, or fear those negative emotions um, especially if it's emotions that have stemmed from earlier on um, within your union because that is going to be clouded by pain and not seen within love and again all of this is just you decoding it you deciding what your heart is telling you and there is a difference between pain that's in the heart and love that's in your heart pain wants you to recall your memory from a past time love 
wants you to heal that pain along with eliminating the memory of it and where it stemmed from. Um, and when you heal it, you're healing your counterpart. Um, I am not an advocate of, of divorce and separation. I never have been a fan of it. Um, I think people have always given up way too quickly. Um, and that's why I stuck it out so long with my husband too. When my mind kept telling me, this is just not it. I can't do this anymore. No, this is just terrible. This is the worst circumstance that I can imagine for myself. Um, but my heart kept pulling me and my spirit kept saying, no, this is him. This is him. But something is broken. Um, and so we will be married. Oh gosh, I get this wrong every year. It's 18 or 19 years coming this September. Um, which means I will be have I would have been working on this for two years coming um, towards our anniversary and these past two years have been the best times of my life and it's been very hard but it has been the best time of my life this has been what love what life in love is supposed to be and if we implement this type of process and if we had this type of process in our upbringing everything would have been perfect perfect because love makes things perfect um, So here is something that I want you to really understand is that the pain that we experience, whether in our own personal life or within our, our union, it is meant to occur, well one, because you agree to these circumstances, but it is meant to occur to help shift you into your higher self. It is there to help you see that you are not in alignment with your higher self. Therefore, you are not in alignment with reaching your twin flame union. It takes you becoming in alignment and helping your counterpart reach theirs. That's when you merge. You cannot merge as your twin flame, Adam and Eve union, without one of you reaching towards your higher self. When we become our higher self, that is the spirit within us. If we are the spirit within us, that is the spirit that is connected to all things. And that when things really begin to take place, the things that were meant to take place for us. That's when we become guided properly, nurtured and loved properly. There isn't a separation when we are our higher self. The separation comes from the 3D reality that we create here, the human existence. The human existence teaches us about the pain and the separation and the abandonment and the fear and the anxiety. But the higher self and the spirit within eliminates it. Um, before I go, I want to tell you something about the twin flame in Adam and Eve journey. When you finally uh, merge as yourself and this is probably something that you have realized and ta has taken place throughout this journey of yours prior to your merging is that um, my husband and I we have the same thoughts at the same 
time. And we have throughout our journey. Um, more so in the beginning, because then we were connected. Because if you watched my previous video, you have a process throughout your, your twin flame journey. Um, so in the beginning, we were right on cue. Then comes the separation and all this realization of the 3D um, reality and consciousness. Is, and then, you know, fear and, and then hate and blame and victimization. All of that stuff takes place. Because we lose sight of things. Um, and it's part of the process of knowing you're with someone who you're meant to be with and then losing sight of it and then rejoining. Um, of course, there's uh, other processes in between, but um, so we had that connection, lost the connection, lost the connection, <laughs> it just kept losing it. But even now, um, it's picked up and it's picked up a lot. A lot of the times I am thinking it, but he says it for me. Or a lot of the times I'm thinking it and he does it for me. It's not coincidence. It is you both being in alignment. You both are now thinking, feeling, and doing. And it will continue to shift more and more and more in alignment with everything about who you are because who you are is who he is and he who he is is who she is um, and a lot of things will take place um, you'll notice that kind of stuff and I guess another funny thing is is that my husband's always asking me why am I always wearing the same color he is when he um, gets dressed before I do and I don't see him or I do you know vice versa and it's just because we're both the same we both have the same ideas about we both have the same emotions for the most part um, but there are still differences and that's okay too um, because we both agree to have different experiences but together so um, Um, there is something that will block you in your union, whether you are with your counterpart now or not, and that's resentment. If you have had a past experience in your life and you really resent um, the opposite sex, um, it's like placing um, a negative force out there that is pushing away your union. Um, and so if you are already with your twin flame, your heart will know. Um, and if you feel that resentment inside, which I know I have in my past, that is why the, the union will take a much longer process. Um, I could have probably, we could have merged probably years ago, but both of us were resenting what was taking place within us and none of us, either, none of, either of us didn't want to, um, um, admit what was true and then what wasn't true, uh, being bullheaded about the situation. So whatever you have inside, again, that hasn't been healed that has been causing resentment, you have to remove that. It is the negative emotions that you have to figure out how to let go of and nurture your own self. And the only way to do so is by loving yourself unconditionally and fully, selflessly, in order to eliminate it. And that means by healing, what processes can you take to heal yourself? to allow truth to be told. Um, when you heal yourself of all of the brokenness that you had stemming from your own life, um, 
and your own brokenness and then move on to what took place you know within your own union as well you're healing your counterpart um, when we let go of the blame and the resentment I mean that's a different type of selflessness again um, we have a choice whatever we do do we want to hold on or do we want to let go do we want to forgive or do we want to let go and be happy and if you are saying that you forgive someone but you have not forgotten about it you have not forgiven forgiveness wipes the slate clean so if you have not performed your I'm sorry please forgive me thank you and I love you letters um, to people who have really caused you harm and especially here in your union I recommend that you do so and this is stuff that you don't have to give to anyone else this is a healing process for yourself um, and when you have become strengthened if it is within your heart to hand these letters over then go ahead have faith and choose love always but until then, journal these letters. It's for you, and it's for your healing process. Um, so I hope that all this kind of made sense. I know I rambled on a little bit here. Um, there is a, a lot going on. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make another video about this, because this, this is already long enough. Um, so my point of view is that take the time to heal yourself and help your counterpart um, but listen to your heart only you know if your union was meant to be because your heart is always pulling you to, to stay your mind and your pain has been trying to speak to you about leaving and separating I'm asking you to choose your heart always choose your heart this is Christy much love health and healing your way I am bringing purpose to your life take care